Everything is so wet and sticky this morning, like sticky all over me. Probably about to get my period. I'm feeling, ugh. And these birds won't shut up. Oh, I'm in a mood. <laughs> feeling like anything I have to contribute to the world is worthless. You know how it gets. That's exactly what I want to talk about. I just woke up this morning feeling like, how do I say this in a way that's like not super dramatic? It's probably very dramatic. Sometimes I just download this sense of dread and panic that everything in my life is gonna flip upside down for like some unknown reason. There's also some imposter syndrome mixed in there where I feel like I'm building a life for myself that I don't deserve or something. But I do a lot of work every day telling myself that I do. So it kind of feels like a rebound effect. I go through these periods of making a lot of positive strides in terms of my intrinsic beliefs and trying to change my more negative assumptions into positive ones. And then all of a sudden I wake up one day and I just feel like drained. Like I feel so empty of every ounce of positivity and motivation. And it's really confusing. But like I said, it also could just be my period. I'm gonna write an insufferable amount in my journal. Cause it always goes away. Hopefully I feel better later. This is real. This is me. Exactly where I'm supposed to be. Taking a bunch of, well, just a couple. Like a bag of clothes that I haven't touched in my closet in a few months. I'm gonna take them to an exchange place and hopefully they buy them. I'll probably look around while they're sorting through my stuff because that's how they get you. They buy your clothes, but then you spend the money right back, whatever. I also have a bit of a Goodwill haul. I have been a stressed out monster this week. Like, I, I don't know what's been wrong with me. Nothing satisfies the empty void like a little thrifting haul. <sighs> this year, I've barely been shopping and it's been really nice. I feel like I'm getting more use out of my clothes and I feel like if I do go shopping, I'm thinking more about long-term wear instead of just like a temporary, I think this is cute and I'm gonna wear it for three days. So on top of that, I felt like I just needed a little bit of new energy in my closet. <laughs> like not to make it a weird thing, but without further ado, it was a long-winded explanation for a Goodwill haul. I love a good stripe. Anything that has a stripe on it, I'm getting. I also got a couple like basic black tank tops. This is a little less basic. I thought it was very unique. Love these things and they make this nice little rattling noise i don't know it just really it intrigued me a little mini khaki pants this maybe is my favorite one again a stripe but it's like the perfect muted pale pastel yellow and blue stripe because i like stripes so much sometimes i might pick out an ugly stripe top with ugly colors just because the stripes are so satisfying but this is like the most perfect color i don't know i just i love this so much now that i have some new energies it's time to clear out these old energies okay let's go we're back and they bought my stuff. So I bought more stuff. Obvi. They gave me a lot of store credit. So I only paid $15 for a pair of shorts, a pair of jeans and a shirt. So like five bucks each, not bad. Anyways, plain little pink shirt. Yeah, I love the stitching on the cuffs. I got these shorts. They're a little bit bigger in the waist so that they fit low. I was thinking maybe I should get fall stuff, but the thing is, it's not gonna get cold here until, or even, it's not gonna get cold at all. You can pretty much wear shorts all the time. So buying jackets and fall things is kind of a waste. Regardless, I do love a good tank top and jeans moment. So I got these Levi's, or no, they're actually not Levi's. These are Project Co. I don't even know what brand this is, but they are men's, but the same thing. The waist is bigger, so they fit really cute and low-waisted. I love them. I'm so happy. It's kind of hot outside. I want to go for a walk later, but I don't want to go right now in the peak of the afternoon heat. I think I'm going to chill inside for a little bit, eat some lunchy lunch. Anyways, I'll be yapping to you guys later. Trust me. The anticipation that I have for this week's recipe is possibly one of the highest so far. Today we're making the viral cucumber salad by Logan. I'm copying his salmon bagel cucumber salad recipe. So I got two cucumbers because I'm probably gonna make this more than once. I got smoked salmon, an avocado, everything bagel seasoning, capers, whipped garlic and herb cream cheese, pickled red onions. It's very simple. Limited ingredients, limited prep time. Okay. I'm really excited for this. Is this necessary? Is this too big? I don't know. Mm. Mm. 
whatever. We'll just use the big one. I went to the dentist this morning. Not the best news to report, sadly. I have a lot of cavities, more than I would like to admit. But she did say that my gums were looking fantastic. So, you know, at least we know my flossing efforts have come to fruition. Um, otherwise, not the best morning. So I'm really hoping that this will lift my spirits for the day. I still think this is going to be like super delicious and this probably will become a staple for me. I already know. I know I'm going to like this. So. <laughs> of notes because sometimes it's hard to organize my thoughts i've been thinking a lot about cycles not just in terms of periods okay i swear this video is not all about my freaking period but i was having a conversation with a friend the other day we were talking about how much or how heavily we tie our identities or Yeah, I guess identities would be the right word to phases or cycles. And a conversation we had last winter was about kind of leaning into the principle of the season instead of trying to fight it. And so that got me thinking about leaning into the process of a cycle because cycles can be very long and then cycles can be very short. I'm becoming very aware of the cycles I go through on a shorter basis how I feel, what I wish to contribute. I just kind of feel a little bit thrown sometimes when it's like my mind or my body can't keep up for whatever reason with what I want and need them to do. Like there are times when I really, really want to create something, but my brain is just off. And there's this battle between needing to constantly be on go and needing to constantly be um, just in movement, in motion, at a rate that I just quite honestly cannot sustain, and I know that, but I don't listen to that, and I get really mad at myself when I succumb to the natural ebb and flow of life. At the beginning of what I'm referring to as this cycle, I'm super motivated, super inspired, I feel super creative, like I just have so much to give to whatever it is I'm a part of or working on at the time and then suddenly it's just like the well is dry and I'm totally and completely drained despite still wanting to contribute and feeling like there's more I have to give but just simply not being able to pull it out of my consciousness if that makes sense and it's like a domino effect because when I get like that I start to not be able to see a way out of the way that I'm feeling or imagine that it will inevitably return me to the top of this cycle, you know, I would describe this part as like the bottom and then there's like a rise back up and then a fall back down and a rise back up and a fall back down and it just goes on and on and on. But when I'm in this like empty space, which I recognize as a time to rest and kind of like refuel, it's less of a production creation time and more of just a simple time to just take in whatever's around me and let inspiration flow however it chooses to present itself. But it can be very intense between these highs and lows, then there's a lot of shame that comes from the rest period for me. Um, and I like a crazy amount of imposter syndrome because for some reason I feel like people who are truly creative, like true makers, true whatever, they don't get tired, which I know is backwards. And when I say it out loud, it sounds so stupid. It feels very delusional and like you can't quite tell what's the truth. I'm not able to talk about it. It feels like it doesn't even have a place in the process. Like the negative time is just something I like keep to myself, I keep quiet, I lock it away. And then 
when it passes, it passes, and then we're right back out again, you know? I'm only able to talk about it right now because I feel like I'm coming back up the wheel again. And I bet in a week, two weeks, I'm gonna feel right on top, you know? I don't know. And then inevitably it will fall back down. So I really, I need to find a way to become more comfortable with with the low period. I was watching a podcast though. She led him through this exercise, which is super quick, but comforted me in this low space. So not to be super corny, and you can like skip through this if you want. I won't be offended, or you can come back to it later. I won't be offended. This is what she said, okay? So you're gonna close your eyes, <sighs> take seven deep breaths, come into your center. And then she said to, invite in a few people who you know really love you and really have your best interests at heart so think of them picture them coming in to the space sitting at a table in front of you once you do that you invite in your higher self so the version of you who embodies you at your highest spiritual potential and then invite whatever higher power you believe in into this conversation as well look at all of them and ask them if they love you and after you do that and you feel their response, ask them what you need to hear right now. And that was a very profound exercise for me because it took me out of my own argument with myself. You know, a lot of times it just feels like there's two people talking back and forth in my head, but it's powerful that you can channel the opinions and love of people to make it feel like there's a larger conversation at hand. And there's more support within yourself than you might initially recognize so yeah I, that just really helped me a couple days ago so i wanted to share that i can't believe i just did that but okay hopefully it helps so i'm gonna start trying to take the responsibility off of myself in a way to figure out what my next move is especially when i'm feeling like no move in the world i could make would mean anything and just surrender to the idea that the idea doesn't have to come from me it's already looking to find me i just need to relax